All right, back again, right uh, right off the grate. We're gonna finish this up here. We're gonna crank out the orange real fast. Uh, on this this image, orange is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. It's generally not that straightforward. Um, generally, orange is a mixture of uh, the two primaries, you know. Red and yellow, same with uh, orange is the same problem as green, purple. You know, just mixing the two primaries when you want to get the secondary colors uh, tends to be a little tougher. But uh, it's really not. Uh, if if you got a good eye for it, uh, it'll take a lot of practice, of course. But uh, I'll cover some some other ways how to go about it, and uh, we'll just cover this uh, straightforward 101 orange method on this image. At least you can uh, add it to your arsenal and start practicing. So basically, uh, what we're gonna do is we got to get the yellow and the red. We need this this white filled with orange, and we wanna kind of overlay it into the yellow here, and kind of into the red here. You can see in the image, it's it's right there. The easy method, this way, is to flatten your image, and we're going to do a gradient map. We did color it originally with this gradient map, but that's a different episode here. So we're going to flatten it, and we're going to make a, a new gradient map. And uh, basically, the orange is the middle hue of this this whole image, so it'll be really easy. Gradient map. Basically all it does is uh, give you a gradient for your darks through your lights. We're going to make a, a black, that will be our darkest, which would actually be all the way back here, but then with the image this will be maybe where the gray would be, although we don't really need that right now. This is where the dark reds and reds would be, and then this is the opposite. This would be where the, the highlight whites and the yellows would be leaving the orange right here in the middle and that's really the only one we care about right now it's a little hard to wrap your mind around if if you're used to thinking one way and looking at it visually this is pretty mathematical I guess it's a uh, takes a little bit of training but uh, you can always turn these to colors if, if you need to cheat for a while so if you wanted to go you know white red you know even if you wanted to add the black that's fine too and you can begin to see like where the different colors would would lay on the image I'm just gonna show you the basic basic method here just for speed purposes but uh, definitely play around with this and uh, you'll really begin to understand how the how the colors are playing on here um, basically this gray is a uh, right where we want this to be so I'll just shut these back to black and our gray is going to be our orange ink, which I'll put white. And I'm just going to kind of tweak this a bit till I get it to where I feel comfortable. It's all pretty much visual. And I guess that's where uh, knowing about colors really comes into play. Good enough. Okay. Going to flatten it down. Command E, Control E. Go to your grayscale, invert it, select all, cut it out, go to your DCS and uh, we're going to pop it in right between the red and yellow. And then Command V, Control V, paste it in. You don't really want to preview with your underbase white because it'll look weird on the screen, but change your alpha 2 to a, a bright orange I think we're gonna go maybe 165 okay let's go back and revert this so we can do a quick comparison that's our original this is our finished set colors look a little brighter um, so once you're in this mode this is pretty much finished there's a little gray here I don't know if you can see it on your screen but basically what I'm gonna do is take a an airbrush and kind of brush it out turn it back on that's about done you can always go in and refine and uh, like if you think your highlight white is a little too bright, you can always go in and adjust and curve actually on your final DCS here. And uh, basically you'll just see how it how it plays. Maybe I'll pull it back 
this much so there's a little bit more yellow. Maybe you can change the yellow to 123 instead of a 116, but other than that, that's a that's a done print ready to to set up in Illustrator. We're gonna save it and be done. We'll cover that in the next episode, a little bit more technical. I'll do it right next, but uh, later.